once we are aware of the areas in which clarity needs to be pursued, the next step is finding out how to achieve it. Observing current data to see what needs to be done, learning from past performance to see what needs to be avoided, being mindful at all times of changes and developments taking place, being open to multiple perspectives to widen one's own mental horizons, all these practices are quite helpful. At an organizational or entrepreneurial level, these translate into knowing what one's strengths are and thus being able to fine-tune what you're offering, assessing the market and customer base, observing competitors to see how you can differentiate yourself. We think of clarity in terms of numbers, percentages, milestones, etc. But clarity needs to be redefined with time. As your company grows, your goals for clarity evolve with it. Let's take an example. Disney started as a small company in 1923 that made short animated films. From making silent short animated films, Disney expanded into theme parks, a cruise line, travel related assets, consumer products, publishing, full length feature films, music recording label, theater, media networks and so many other segments. Earlier this year, Disney bought 21st Century Fox. So the takeaway here is that as you and your company grow, your goals evolve. So periodic evaluation of market changes and our own priorities is extremely important. Let's take another example. Google is also a great example. What is known to the world as a plain page with a single search bar has today taken over most of our digital lives. This further outlines the ideal of achieving a cutting clarity in terms of what we want our product service to be. On the other hand, the reason for Codex downfall was in a sense a hesitation to change with the times. Instead of evolving to go digital like the changing times demanded, it tried to hold on to its main business which had cemented itself as Codex identity. Hence, we must be able to see clarity at a very fundamental level. Our conscious brains might agree with this interpretation of it, but our subconscious brains know that the seed of idea that will bring happiness and success is very different. So is it spreading happiness like Disney or simplifying search like Google? Find out what that fundamental idea is and the numbers and milestones happen naturally along the way. Thank you.